Hello YouTube, it's Luigi here. Tonight we're going to investigate how Euclid might have constructed a golden rectangle using the only two tools available to him in his time, a compass and a straight edge. Euclid developed an amazing system of geometry that we still use to this very day using only a straight edge and a compass. He had no ruler. He had no ruler, no measuring device. When they wanted to get equal distances, they set the distance between the pick of the compass and the drawing point, and that's how they used it. Uh, that, that was the only way you could, you could sort of tick off a similar distance. Now, today we know it's possible to construct a golden rectangle from a square, but how would Euclid have even drawn a square? How would he know, how would he even know what 90 degrees were, because a square has four 90 degree angles in it. Well, let's see if we can dope that out. My guess is he would have started with a line, like you see here, and I put this big red ball on that line, just to sort of illustrate things here. You could, could have put his compass point on that ball and drawn a circle, like that. From this circle, using where this circle intersects the line, he could have drawn two exactly the same circles by not changing the setting on his compass. He could have drawn the exact same circle using both points where the original circle intersect the line as their centers. Now we're done with this circle. And then Euclid would have, could have drawn with his straight edge a line where the circles intersect. Now we're done with these circles, so I'm going to get them out of the way so they don't confuse us. These lines are perpendicular. Great! He's figured out how to draw perpendicular lines, but how does he close off the, the square with the other two lines? Well, let's say he picks a point some distance away. I've drawn it one unit, but it doesn't matter. He could now stick his uh, compass point in this original ball and draw a circle whose radius is the center of the of the other red ball. He could do the same thing, take this by not, again by not changing the settings on his compass, he could draw another circle of exactly the same size. using this now as the center. He could draw another circle of exactly the same size using this intersection point as the center of that circle. And now all he has to do is connect this point with this point with this point. Now let's get rid of all the garbage. And there is Euclid square. Now, how would Euclid have constructed a golden rectangle from a square? Well, if you stick, if he were to stick his, again, his um, compass point at the middle of this line, and he knows how to do perpendicular uh, bisectors, and put the, his drawing point at one corner of that square and then extend the square, one leg of the square to hit the circle and we know he can draw lines at 90 degrees so we don't have to reinvent that wheel and then from this where this intersects hit where it intersects the circle and extend this line of the square Erase the square, erase the circle. That, my friends, is Euclid's golden rectangle. Now, let's prove it. You keep your eye on the upper left part of my screen, and I'm going to demonstrate that the height of this rectangle from this point to this point, now look in the upper right, is 1.0, and the width of this rectangle is 1.618, and that is phi. This is the golden ratio, 1 to 1.618.
it can also be expressed as 0.618 to 1 because 0.618 and 1.618 are multiplicative inverses of each other. In other words, if you multiply them together, they equal 1. So that is how Euclid would have done it. Quid erat demonstrandum. All right, everybody. God bless you. Take good care. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.